Hey guys, Gemini Jets Flyer here, and today I'm doing an airport update. I'm sorry it took me so long. I haven't posted videos in a little while. Uh, well, in a little while, I mean a, a week. Just about a week. And that's mostly because, as you can see, my terminal is completely updated. I've painted the runways, and I have changed the terminals because... I didn't get any comments or anything on the last videos, but I knew that something was wrong because not a lot of people were watching my videos, so I knew it wasn't the best quality of an airport. So, this is my airport now. Again, I still need to put the windows on it. Uh, the windows on the airport terminal. And maybe add on some gate doors, stuff like that. I had the little gates, but I need to add, like, you know, the, the actual gate windows and doors. And just before I start this airport video, I need to send this out to Phoenix Models. He has really inspired me throughout my YouTube age, throughout the whole community. He was the one that's just been... He's just been putting more videos out there, and he's just got a great airport, so I'm going to leave his channel into the, in the description, because he just does such a great job, and he probably even made, he made a whole Lufthansa A340-600, and I'm just blown away from that, like, I'm just blown away, I could, I tried to do that out of paper, as you saw with my Allegiant plane, didn't even talk. Here's Lufthansa A340. So you know what? I'm I I have total respect for that. Um You wouldn't even you know what the first time I saw his videos, I didn't even know if he actually I thought he bought it. It's just that good. Anyway, so uh shout out to him and let's get on with the airport update. So, my Mac isn't going too far, it's charging. I know, kind of weak, I have to charge my Mac and take it around. But, um, so, uh, here we have the Terminal 1, 2, and 3. These are the internet, these are the U.S. and mainland terminals. U.S. and Hawaiian terminals. So, over here we have an Alaska 738. Going down to Kahului, this is the aircraft with the ETOPS cabin. Right here we have an Alaska 737-8 non-ETOPS, and it's going to be going down to Orlando today. I was actually pretty surprised. They sent the 737-800 all the way from Seattle direct to Orlando, so that's actually really cool. So I decided to make that the flight in this airport update. Uh, over down here we have a Alaska 737-8. Seven going down to Bob Hope, Burbank, California. Right here we have a United A319 going down to Chicago today. Over here we have a Continental or United Post Merge Livery 777-200 going down to Tokyo Nairita today. Over here we over here we have an, an American 738 going down to Houston. Uh, over here we have, not Houston, Dallas-Fort Worth. Over here we have a Southwest 733. It's going to be going down to Oakland today. On the taxiways we have an Alaska 738. And it's going to be going to San Diego today. Over here we have a CRJ 700 with United Express. It's going to be going down to... I don't know where they fly them. Uh, if you know where United Express flies their CRJ 700s out of Seattle, put it in the description. Put it, I mean, in comment on it, because I have no clue. For now, I'm going to be sending it out to Denver, though, because I'm sure they could fly a 700 out to Denver. Uh, over here, we have a Hawaiian 763 uh, ER. Going, it just came from Kahului today, and up here we have a Lufthansa A330-300, and it just came in from 
Frankfurt today. Down here by the cargo terminals, we have two FedEx 7, no, MD-11s. The one right here, it just came from Oakland, and the one over here is going to be heading out in like 15 minutes to San Jose. And over here on the right side is our Lufthansa 744. It is actually, this aircraft does not fly into SeaTac, but it's here on repairs. Now, I know you're wondering, like, if they don't do that. Well, actually, they do, and I've seen them do it because, but if you probably have flown into Seattle, you know, there's a lot of advertisements. We have a museum of flight here. We have the, the museum of flight. We have the future of flight. We have the Boeing factory, the Everett plant. We have a bunch of places. And Boeing often does repairs on Lufthansa's aircraft when they fly into here. They fly an A330 on their passenger route to Frankfurt. I don't know. They may fly. A f I don't know if they even fly to Munich. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they'll fly to Munich here. Um. But they fly 3:30 here, and this is going to be this 747 is going to be going out to Frankfurt in like two days. It's just being repaired. It had a uh, little accident on the runway. So if we go all the way over, my computer will go that far. No. Uh, okay. So I'll unplug it quickly. If we go over to the international terminal here, we have our Delta 744. This is our newest aircraft. It's going to be going out to Tokyo Nairata today, followed by the trip to Hong Kong. Now, Delta has just upgraded this flight from a 330 and a 777 to a 744 because of the increased number of passengers. Over here, we have an Air Canada 777-200LR. Now, I know they don't fly these, but because it's Star Alliance aircraft, same with Ajana, I'm going to be you saying that it's flying with Ajana down to Seoul today. Um, if you haven't heard, there was that crash in San Francisco. That's the other reason I'm doing it instead of uh, Korean Air. I usually do Korean Air with the 777. But no, I'm actually doing the uh, the Ajana just because of that crash. Just to really um, tribute to that crash. Over here we have a Boeing 744 being delivered to uh, Cargo Lux. To, no, not Cargo Lux. Uh, being delivered to um, Cafe Pacific. Over here we have a 738 being delivered to Hiana. 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 I, I really don't know how to pronounce it, but Hiana. And it's going to be going out to Beijing capital today. So that's pretty much it for the airport update. I'm going to give you a bit of a tail shot here. Oh. Did I? I think I... No, I didn't do... And this is the Q400-8 with Horizon going out to Portland today. So over here I'm going to give you a little tail shot of the aircraft in the US terminal. I'm working on my Delta fleet. I decided, well, you know, Seattle is kind of a hub for Delta. So I'm gonna be working on my Delta fleet because now they fly both <laughs> now they fly both the triple seven and the seven no yeah. They fly I think they fly a triple seven out here. They do a 3.30 to Amsterdam Schiphol. I've seen that flight many times. They do a bunch of 7.5 fly, uh, flights to, like, New York, um, LaGuardia, JFK, uh, uh, Houston, it, places like that. They do a bunch of flights to areas like that on the 7.5. And they also do tons of 7.3700 flights and a bunch of 7-6 flights. So I really need to start expanding on my Delta fleet. My Alaska fleet is 90% complete. 90% complete, I know. I just need one 
special liveried aircraft. I'm hoping to get the Disneyland Alaska livery aircraft because I know they fly that one out here a lot. I've actually seen it here in Seattle, Tacoma. So, I want to get one of those. Uh, again, hoping to expand on my Delta fleet. Also hoping because you probably could tell the Southwest 737 is a very bad airplane. It's not even a 1400 scale model. Uh, it's one of the stupid sticker aircraft that I got when I was a kid. So, I'm not going to be using that in this airport again. Instead, I'm going to look for a hobby shop on my travels in a couple of weeks. I'm going to Toronto on 777. Then uh, from Toronto, I'm staying there for two weeks to visit with family. And then I'm going to Montreal, going on a small cruise on a ship called the MS Macedam. Then I'm going to be going to Boston, catch a Red Sox game, because I love my Red Sox. No, I'm a Yankees fan, but I'm going to try it. I don't, I'm kind of in the middle, actually. I'm not a Boston fan nor am I a Yankees fan. Uh, I really don't know. I'm hoping to get inspired by Boston this year. Hoping to maybe, you know, maybe start to like Boston. But it's about the airport, not Boston. Not, it's, about, it's more so about the airport, not what I'm doing. So, then I'm going to be going from Boston on a CRJ700 to Chicago O'Hare which I'm hoping to find a United 7-3 because once I find a United 7-3 I'm done my United fleet completely and I know they only fly two aircraft in here but I, I want a 7-3 so um, I'm hoping to get one of those to do on my Houston route because I actually flew on one of those down to Houston one time and then I'm going to, and then that's pretty much it. And I'm hoping to finish my airport. Also, trying to expand on the American 75. I need one of those. And I'm hoping to get at least one of those types of planes on my travels. I really need them. So, I'm hoping to get one of those planes. If not, I'll probably come back with some tacky sticker planes. Because I'm going to Chicago Air. I need to buy some United merchandise. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. Hope you, you know, hope you subscribe. If you think it's a good video, like it. Give it a thumbs up. Um, comment. I love the comments. Even if they're bad. You know, they could be really rude comments. They could, you know, whatever. Without comments, I will never be able to fix up my airport. My airport. The reason I did this was just because I wasn't pleased with my old airport. So, the other thing is I'm going to be putting some stickers on the wood. On all the wood. Actually, I'm just going to print off some um, windows off the internet and put it on the wood. Uh, once again, I'm going to have the link to... Phoenix Models 8 channel in the description. He's really admiring, and I encourage you to watch his video. So, thanks for watching. Um, please check out his channel, and I'm hoping to do an update next week. So, thanks!